I understand why people are constantly amazed by my guide dog because I am constantly amazed by my guide dog. Yesterday we checked in and we only did this walk from the elevator to the room once, like when we checked in. And then we were leaving and he, with all these twists and turns, found his way without any commands directly from the room to the elevator. He walked at once the opposite direction. They're amazing. Hello and welcome to Key Biscayne, Florida. I keep questioning myself if I'm saying it correctly. I hope I am. It is like a little tiny island off of Miami. There's only 20,000 people who live here. Uh, so it's very small and we are at the one and only hotel they have, which is the Ritz Carlton Resort. And I am here because I have a speaking engagement, but we came a day early. So it's kind of nice we have the day off, though it is like a bit cloudy and very windy. I can't complain, we're in a beautiful place and we're gonna have some fun today. So I'm feeling very Florida in this outfit. Isn't this giving Florida? Come on now. The hot pink, bright blue, bright green. It's so cute and comfy. Knit. I'm giving like trendy grandma. Trendy grandma? Yeah. That's so funny. When I'm a grandma, which I never will be because I'm not having kids, I'll wear this. Anyways, I uh, am very excited to be here. I am speaking at a healthcare conference. I do a lot of healthcare speaking. Lately, that seems to be one of my big markets right now for some reason. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Hi, I'm disabled. A lot of experience in the healthcare industry myself as a patient. Um, so yeah, I'm speaking at a healthcare conference. Um, so tomorrow is Tuesday and I have my uh, sound check. And then Wednesday I'm speaking on a panel and I'm doing a fireside chat. And then Thursday I will be back off to LA. But in the lobby of this hotel, they actually have Elton John's piano. Like the real Elton John. His real piano is in the lobby here. So I thought we could start this off, Elton John, by going to go see your piano. What do you think? The enthusiasm is overwhelming. Okay, so Elton has guided me over to his piano. Apparently it's on loan by an art collector and my mom was telling me it's all white and then it has like something that's- Actually, like... it's all gold. Oh, it's all gold. Now that I see it in the day, yeah, it's gold. Oh my God, Painted that's gold. so cool. We'll get some B-roll to put in here. And I can see some lights. What are the lights, mom? The lights, this one's for you, it says. This, this one's, one's for you. you. And so there's Elton John, it's so cool. Oh my God, I wish I could tell. And then around here it says, my gift is my, my song. song. Yeah, my gift is my, my song. My gift is my song. And this one's for you. Oh my god, I love that song. Our song? Our song? Our song? Our song? Your song? <laughs> my gift is my song. Yeah. I think no, it is I know, anyway. The, my... This is your song. Might be quite simple, but not it's Ah, fine. yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you don't mind. That's the first Elton John song I fell in love with when I was in high school. Um, specifically, I fell in love with Ellie Goulding's cover of it. So pretty. What do you think, Elton? Can you imagine how Elton, much? Elton, do you like your piano? Elton, can you imagine how much your piano cost? It must cost a lot of money, babe. Very expensive. Can you imagine, Mom, how much that costs? I know. It's pretty crazy. I just went to change because it is a little bit chilly, and I have to tell you guys. This hotel's beautiful and amazing and everything's great, except one thing is, I don't think this elevator is ADA compliant. You guys let me know, because I'm not, I could be wrong, but it's like a touch screen, so I can't use any of the buttons, and there doesn't seem to be any accessibility features that we can find. I'm gonna ask to confirm and I'll let you know, but it's touch screen, so I can't hit any of the buttons and it doesn't talk. So I don't know what floor I'm on. There are touch screen buttons that I can't use, and if it's touch screen, it must mean it's modern. So if it's modern, there should be ADA compliance built into it. I've seen other places that have touch screens, but they have like a physical button that you push that turns an accessibility mode on. So yeah, very interesting. It's just frustrating because it takes away like all my independence. Like I have to be with somebody in order to use this elevator. So we usually bring a toy with us for Elton when we travel, but we totally forgot. So we brought him to the gift shop at the hotel and I let him pick one out and he's picked this fish, which is perfect because we can throw it for him like a ball and he can run after it, which he loves to do. But also it's like filled with foam so he can't burst it. So cute. We're at the hotel coffee shop and they sell stuff as well. And my mom was just reading this quote to me. It's like a cheese board and it's cream and gold. It has a little knife with it. And what does it say, mom? People will stare and make it worth their while. Tom Ford. So that's a Tom Ford quote. I literally say that all the time. Like that's what I've, I always say. I know that people are gonna stare at me so I might as well give them something fun to look at. <laughs> I didn't know Tom Ford said that, but like I align with him. I feel that deep in my soul. 
if if I wanted to spend three hundred dollars, which I don't, I would buy this because I think it would look so nice in my PC place, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I am. I'm just not gonna spend that much money on it. But like, I had to show you. So fun. Lunchtime hunger hit, so we've come out to the Mexican restaurant that's by the pool, and I cannot come to a Mexican restaurant without getting a margarita. I just like the classic lime margarita, and I always get salt on the rim, and I don't like it blended. Now, I don't know if those are contra controversial opinions. Let me know how you like your margaritas down below. But for me, tequila and gin are like my two favorite hard liquors, so that's why I love this, and I love like lime, lemon, um, grapefruit, like I love anything sour, I love anything salty. You guys know me, I'm not a sweet girl. I'm like salty, sour, savory. So this for me is one of the most perfect cocktails that exists. And then my guacamole, I always want it like chunky. I love it to have things in it. So I love it when it has like tomato chunks and even some like Mexican cheese and stuff like that. And this one is exactly like that. So this could not be a more perfect little lunch for us. Do you like the fan I've got blowing on me for effect? I feel like Beyonce. And by the fan, I mean the tropical winds. They are out of control. Also, we finished lunch. It was delightful. And then I thought Elton was guiding me back to the hotel. And instead, he guided me to the beach. And he's trying to take me to the water. Elton John. Elton John. Do you have a snoot full of sand? Ridiculous. Guy dog's gone wild, you guys. So I think it's time for a good old-fashioned hotel room tour. And... This is like a balcony off the edge of my room and it overlooks a fountain, which you can probably hear rumbling. And then I think I have a view of the beach, which is completely lost on me. So, <laughs> love a good beach view. Wait, side note, I always love when hotels try to upcharge me for a beachfront view and I'm like, you are trying to sell to the wrong girl. I'll save my money, thank you. Okay, so come on in here. This is so nice for like morning coffee. And then you come in here. We have a little couch and my mom said it's very like beachy like light blues and creams and stuff right mom yeah are the absolutely. walls light blue yep beautiful light blue <laughs> it looks it looks like gray but it's actually light blue and then these are nice i like these lamps by the bedside table they're like a fogged glass i actually thought they were dusty when i touched it but it turns out to be fogged glass <laughs> and then they like dim very fancy and then i have a nice king size bed to myself um which I appreciate. I have my own room. I always love that. Um, most of the time when I'm traveling for business, I get my own room. And Neve Burke has begun to purr. <laughs> and her purring is not quite as cute and subtle as Lavender's. It's more like a mountain lion and, than a little house cat. And so when I'm working, I need sleep because I have to get up and perform. And so I do appreciate that Elton and I have our own room. Though Elton, with the jet lag, woke me up at 3 a.m. He's like, hey mom, I have to poop. And I was like, it's 3 a.m. And he's like, yeah. I was like, can you hold it? And he's like, okay. And so he held it, but then he kept waking me, being like, I still have to poop. And I was like, so finally I had to wake my mom and I was like, we gotta, somebody has to poop. So yeah, so I had a rough night's sleep. Um, and then you come down the hall, I have a nice mirror to not look at my outfits in. Love that. And then, a Big bathroom. Oops. You can see yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice bathtub. And I love a private pooping room. This is the poop palace. It is a private poop room. So if you were sharing the room with somebody that was more judgmental than Elton, you can poop in peace. That's my dream. Like, I don't have enough space in my condo in BC that I could have renovated a toilet that's private within a bathroom because, you know, my bathrooms are both very small. But if I ever did have enough space, I would get a private poop palace. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> come in here. Come in. And then this is a standing glass shower. So you get both a bathtub and a standing shower. Hi, Elton. It's actually not all about you. It's actually not all about... He says, it's my room tour. Come see my room. And then... What I always request um, is an adjoining room. So we have the adjoining room to where Neve Burke is with her two beds. I know my little haven. I can change around beds if I want. It's Every delightful. Night, you your own choice. She also has a patio, but no couch. Mm -hmm. And the bathroom's the same. It's very dark in here. No lights on. No lights on. Back to this room. Um, yeah, so that's where we're staying. And I think even though it's cloudy and even though it's windy, 
I think we're just going to make the most of our one day off and go to the pool. Why not? Why not? Literally nobody out by the pool but us. Um, by far, the most questions I get about swimsuits on social media are my long sleeved ones, these two, which are both billabong, and this one, which this is like a wrap that goes over it, but it is like a just two piece bikini. And ooh, the back is fun, it's like all mesh. And this one is NYX. The, like, Sorry, can you show me the mesh again? Oh, yes. Yes, the mesh. mesh. Um, and I love like the zip and everything. And this one is by NYX, which is the period panties brand. And this is actually a period swimsuit, but just like their underwear that has a built-in pad, you don't notice. Like nobody can see, nobody can tell. Um, so I love it and yeah, it's very cute. So I always get questions. So I thought I'd let you know before I attempt to get in this pool. Okay, so I'm swimming in the pool and my mom was just like, there's something on your back. And I was freaking out. Like I thought I had like some tropical Floridian bug on my back or something. She said, come over here, let me see what's on your back. So I turned around and I was literally freaking out. And like, I was like, what is it, what is it, what is it? And she's like, you have a bruise, like right here, right here. I was like, oh, that's fine. I got cupping done. Cupping like can leave bruises. Um, I go to sports medicine for TMJ which affects literally like the tension in my shoulders and my neck and blah, blah, blah. And so she was doing cupping on me and it left some bruises. So if you see it, that's all it is. No tropical Floridian bugs here. Hello, hello, good morning. So last night we just went and grabbed a dinner and got some work done in the room. It is another windy day as you can probably tell, but it is sunnier today. The sky is more blue. So we're looking forward to that. I have my sound check later today, but other than that, just gonna be enjoying myself again and I have a cold brew. This cold brew from the coffee shop on site, $10 US. I'm gagged. Like, what are you talking about? That's absolutely wild. Um, and this is why <laughs> we always make our own breakfasts when we come to hotels. I think I've shared this, but when we travel, and you guys know we travel a lot, always try to get a fridge in our hotel room. And if we get a hotel with a fridge in it, we are running to the nearest grocery store and we're picking up snacks like cheese and crackers, fresh fruit, yogurt cups, nuts, and we will do our own breakfasts. And that saves a lot of money. And also when you're traveling a lot, not only does buying breakfast, lunch, and dinner out really add up, um, but it also, it just sometimes you're like, I don't want all this food. Like you just want comforts of home when you're on the road a lot and making a breakfast that you would eat when you're at home really helps with that. So that's a big life hack for when you're traveling. Um, and then also, like if you have leftovers for lunch, we stick them in the fridge and then we can have that for dinner one night. So oftentimes we only end up eating like one meal out a day when we're on the road and we'll do breakfast and one of our other meals at home in the hotel room and it works out really well. Also, I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, this is so funny. I had left these on the pillow for the hotel room tour specifically because I wanted to remember to tell you this and then I forgot. I just found out after a year of owning these pajamas that they're pink and white stripes. I thought they were all pink. So when I was packing to come to Miami, I was like, oh, I'm gonna bring my pink pajamas. When my mom asked me, she was like, what pink pajamas? And I just thought she was confused because I have like a lot of pink pajamas. And I was like, you know, like the plain pink ones that are really light. And she like handed me these, like, these ones and I was like, yeah, and she's like, those are pink and white striped. So, you learn something new every day and it also makes me wonder how many times as a blind person I wear something thinking it looks one way and it actually looks another. My sound check is in a couple of hours so until then we're just enjoying ourselves by the pool and it was like overcast until just now. The sun is blessing us with its presence. Um, also, I found this. Is that the right way? No. The other way. This way. Yeah. Um, we found this which is so interesting. It is a bug wipe. Do so, you know bug spray? That can be difficult for different people with different disabilities, um, especially like upper limb differences and things like that. Um, and I just want to show you guys because I think this is so great and I never knew this existed. I don't get bit by bugs. I think I must be bitter or something. They don't like me. But for those who get bit by bugs and also didn't know that bug wipes existed, now you do. Um, we just ordered a cheeseburger to share. Very excited about that. And I was just hand feeding Elton Ice. Okay, let's show them up. Let's see if we'll eat some more. I ate a bunch, so I don't know if he'll want any more, but let's see. <laughs> you don't want any more? Oh, you do. Nope. <laughs> Did you spit it out? I heard it hit the ground. He says, Mom, you just fed me so much ice, but it's really cute. It's literally like the best ASMR sound ever. <laughs> 
so cute. The burger and fries has arrived. We got it pre-cut in half because you guys know we always share and we always get our beef cooked medium rare. If it's steak, more on the rare side. Let me know what you get. And always, 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 my burger has to have pickles. I was hand feeding him some more ice and he realized my hands tasted like beef because I just like ate the burger. And he was just like, oh, screw the ice. Your fingers taste so yummy. Okay, so the hotel has a dog that lives here named Buddy. And in the lobby here, they have this giant dog house. It has a bone. It's not for you. <laughs> it's not your dog house. Elton's jealous. Oh, this is so cute. What else is there, Mom? There's a, a bowl for There's cushions him? in there. I don't see any bowl, but his name is there. And a nice big oh. house. Oh my god, you're so jealous. You guys, the funniest thing just happened. So we came in from the pool like an hour and a half before my sound check and I was just gonna come up to the room, get refreshed, get ready, change into a corporate appropriate outfit. And I met everybody, including the CEO of the corporation I'm speaking for, in my sports bra and lace pants. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's cute for hanging by the pool. So now I am going to change into my appropriate outfit and go do my sound check. Um, they were all very sweet about it. They're like, you're an influencer, it's fine. And I was like, it's not, but thank you. What were your thoughts on the situation? Elton's always appropriately dressed. You're always appropriately dressed, aren't you? Hi. <laughs> Are you having a nice walk with your guide dog? Yes, I just had my sound check, it went great. Oh my God, these people are, <laughs> I think he likes your shoes. <laughs> no, I think he likes something on the ground. Oh, we found a stick. This is work time, not play time. The stick has been disposed of. So I did my sound check. This was the outfit I ended up going with. Much more professional than my lace pants and crop top. It went so well. They are like genuinely the nicest people. I do corporate speaking all the time and this group is just like next level kind. They're so sweet. And apparently there's jellyfish all over the beach. We're going for a little beach walk. And I'm scared. I don't want Elton John to walk on jellyfish. I don't want you to walk on a jellyfish, Pugaloo. So we are heading to the Mexican restaurant. There's quite a few restaurants here actually. There's a coffee shop, a bar, a Mexican restaurant, the poolside food, which is quite diverse. And then there is the coffee shop that I mentioned that yeah and then there's like a kind of fancy seafood restaurant so we've eaten at the seafood restaurant the past two nights and I can't eat cooked fish it's like a weird allergy I don't want to talk about it and I made the mistake of eating it three times recently because I was gaslighting myself and I was like maybe it's not that and all three times I was up all night sick so not doing that to myself again thankfully sushi has yet to attack me anyway so we've basically eaten the non-seafood things on the menu so we're like okay let's switch it up tonight so we're going to the Mexican restaurant and it's like such a beautiful evening can you see the moon? There's a full moon, Molly. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm like a werewolf. I don't <laughs> sleep well on full moons. Anyone else? Let me know. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> um, okay, hi. So we've come to the Mexican restaurant and we are having chicken mole, which mole is like a um, chocolate-based sauce. And my mom has never had it. I have, and it is delicious. So I want you to try a bite, mom. Okay, and here we go. Your What's your opinion? Oh my god. Is it amazing? It's so good. The fact that it has chocolate sauce, I'm like oh. intrigued. Morning of, I got my panel and my fireside chat, except reverse order. This is like my go-to corporate speaking outfit. I just feel like it's a vibe. And it's the first time that I'm wearing the Prada necklace that I got for Christmas with the Prada loafers. So cute. We're gonna head down now. Um, it is like 10.10 and my presentation is at 10.45, so give us plenty of time to get down to the ballroom. Elton had not one but two big poops today and a play with his fishy toy, so he's feeling good. The fireside chat and the panel are both complete. I think they both went really, really well. The client is very happy, and if the client's very happy, then I am very happy, and I'm also extra happy because it is a beautiful sunny day, the nicest weather we've had, clear blue skies, sunshine, the perfect temperature where it's not too warm, not too cool, we've got a spot in the shade, there's no breeze, it's fabulous and I have the rest of the day off to just relax and we're so hungry so we are sharing this salad which sounds so delicious and I got a classic pina colada mom got a classic marg two of the best drinks that there is and uh, we have a pizza thin crust pizza on the way to share as well so I am going to 
dig in and enjoy. Cheers, my friends. Final night, Elton and I are twinning in all black. He is, I feel like he's tired. We were both tired. We came back, my mom went on a walk on the beach. We took a little rest in bed, but I feel like he's still a bit sleepy. We're gonna have a fun night. There is such like a vibe outside tonight. There's all these different parties going on, none of which we're invited to, but you know what? I don't need to be invited to the party to enjoy the energy and the atmosphere of it around me. So are we thinking the Mexican restaurant again tonight? Yes, for sure. All right, off we go. Okay, so we just finished dinner, or almost finished. Um, we got the chicken mole again, and we got the same salad from lunch. You can tell we enjoyed both. And I want to point out a little example of universal design right here at this very restaurant. So behind me, there is a strip of LED light along the ground, and that is a step. And while that is very beneficial to many people in the blind community, um, especially those who have night blindness and a lack of depth perception, there's a hair stuck to my lip. Oh my god. Elton's probably. <laughs> and um, like somebody like me, who my whole life I've been night blind, and my whole life I've had no depth perception. So that is a perfect example of something that would be helpful for me growing up. But it's also an example of something that's just helpful for everybody because my mom was telling me that the step and the ground below it are the exact same shade of gray. And so without that, at nighttime, I'm sure they had a lot of people tripping, which is probably why they put it in, in the first place. So we love seeing universal design in action. Okay, I'm home in LA and I'm heading out to a Grammys week party and I'm wearing my outfit, which includes these heels. And my mom seems so short. And I realize we're the same height when I don't have these on. We're so short, mom. I know, we are short little people. Anyways, as I said, I'm back in LA. Our final day in Florida was just a morning. We hung out by the pool, had a little salad, and then headed off to the airport for a long flight home. But all is well. We're back, we're settled, and we're off to go party. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what our trip had in store for us. And until next time, you can click over here to watch this video or right there to watch that one. Bye.